How's it going, you beautiful bearded people? Even you women, some of you, quarantine. Uh, this is episode four of the Mixed Plate Podcast. Before we dive into that, David, take it away with a sponsor. <laughs> All right. Big thanks to our sponsor for this episode four, Kaike Few. Follow them on Instagram, order their stuff, dope brand. This is their Instagram, at Kaike Few. There you go. Thank you. Take it away again. We're going to get right into the introduction. <laughs> um, our special guest. Most of you know him as Mr. Coconut, but his first name is Asera, which I don't actually think a lot of people know. But he was born in Samoa, American Samoa. Pongo Pongo? Yeah. Mm. And, <laughs> Jimmy. Sorry, Jimmy. <laughs> You've been replaced. Uh, mostly hailing from Waimanalo, although now he lives Kaimuki, Kaimuki area. Yeah. He's been out here for how long? Have you been out here now? Pretty much my whole life. Twenty six years. Pretty much his whole life. So, so he, out here in Hawaii, or yeah, oh yeah, yeah. It's pretty much my whole life. Just yeah. like a local boy. Mm. Raised in or born in Samoa, but raised here. You can take the boy from the island. But like put him in another island. Put him in another island. Some of Maui, really. <laughs> Fun fact that just in this introduction, not maybe not a lot of you do know is that this is like our special effects guru. Mm. Guru? Guru? Uh. <laughs> like you see fireballs being thrown around, you see people being like blown up. Flying. Thank this guy. <laughs> Heads being punched off. Oh, jeez. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. My muscles looking larger. I don't have any muscles. So I, I thought that was just you. <laughs> well, you should know this. I don't have we, any. We kind of juggle it around a bit. You know, if, it, if I'm not editing, it's this guy. If it's not him, it's me. But it's all that guy. So, I, do, I do enjoy editing a lot. So that that's our introduction. So I Wait, guess we'll... Wait a second. Oh. I think there's something else in that introduction. There's a something. question you forgot. To oh, ask. yeah. Who, Who the, the hell, hell do you think, think you are? are? What? Whoa. Okay. Uh, whoa. What is happening? <laughs> <laughs> I can't keep it in. <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> whoa. Uh, that was the best reaction. <laughs> What's the best reaction? I think we've got it on point so far. <laughs> Episode 4, Mixed Blake Podcast. Thanks We're here. Me. Yeah, thanks for tuning in. You guys did that every time? So maybe. Maybe. What? It's Were a surprise. You never know if you're going to get it or know. not. It's like a, like a extra chicken nugget in the 10-piece chicken nuggets. 11-piece. Surprise, surprise. What the hell do you do? We're here with the Sarah Tua Olo. Let's dive in, shall we? Should we, should we do follow? Because we never get around to follower questions. Never. You're right. We don't. So maybe we, we talk should, too much. Should we? Yeah, we do. But we're, we're going to talk a lot. Well, I mean, I figured, you know, some of them would be serious. Most of them would be kind of dumb, but, you know, it's, it's funny. We'll choose the the pretty... We'll choose the... Yep. Heavy yeah. <laughs> so, I actually I don't have, have a choice here, so I'm just going to answer the question. Yeah, I actually yeah. want to jump right in. I have one. Okay. Mm -hmm. This was actually a very good question because... A lot of people ask me about you and they're like, so what's a Sarah about, right? Like, what's, because he, he's a little more mysterious, I feel like. So this question, actually, it kind of, I feel like it, it falls in line with a lot of people who ask me is, what is something people seem to misunderstand about you? Mm. Uh, he's stumped. First uh, question, he's stumped. I'm stumped now, I'm starting to misunderstand this. <laughs> we came here with questions and we want answers, so now I'm doubting myself too. <laughs> I don't know, I try not to make people misunderstand what I am, you know, and I try to put what I am out there. That's what my, you know, what makes my videos, well, as good as people think they are, because, you know, I put my heart and soul in most of my editing, so it's, uh, I just have fun with what I do. And cool. I have fun just recording with y'all and just making videos. So it's it's really not hard to understand what I am. <laughs> I mean, you can already see what. Don't read too deep into it. Yeah, just right. watch the video. <laughs> He's telling you exactly who he is. Not some <laughs> profound yoga guru who's like, have some kind of spiritual understanding of what the hell I am. 
He's a mystery. Man. The E at the end of mystery stands for I'm, Sarah. I'm a very simple man. <laughs> simple dude. Nobody cut that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and following into that, because you say you put your heart and soul into this, um, follow-up question from a follower. What motivates you when haters or naysayers doubt your dreams that you are trying to achieve? What motivates me the most about them is that, you know, it's, it's it makes me want to do better than what I do mm. to, you know, kind of you know you know what i'm saying like it's like a kind of pushes you to push through your limits so you can shut them up you know what i'm mm. saying like it's kind of oh that last fight scene was corny boom our next fight scenes was amazing mm-hmm. you know it's kind of like that i remember people were saying that you know we weren't throwing kicks while we were punching each other in the second episode of that series oh, next thing you know <laughs> saw something <laughs> didn't get to see but there Next thing you know, David's coming out with a scorpion kick. I can my face in the third <laughs> episode. So slumped by something else. Jeez. So uh, yeah, that's. It just makes me want to, you know, just go even harder. But at the same time, it's like, if you don't like it, you can make your own videos. I mean, you know what the funniest thing is? Is that you're at, or a we? But I'm talking about you. You're actually doing it. It's it, like all those people behind the the keyboards or you know their phones that are typing and stuff. It's, there, there are people who are just watching it, you know, who, have you done this before? No, I don't see anything on your, mm, I'll calm it down a bit. Gotta calm myself down, because this isn't about us. It's about a Sarah. This isn't about you. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry. This but, is your show. You but, but, no, I'm, what I'm trying to say is, like, it's good that you said that, like, to try to shut them up, because, you know what? They, they don't really have a voice, unless they're... In Night Shyamalan... Mm, no, he's not. No. Unless it's Taika Waititi telling mm. me to throw kicks... I will roundhouse kick somebody, I swear to God. It's oh, like Tycho's oh. like, man, if you uh, maybe threw a few kicks here and there, they would definitely make a good video. Yes, yes, Mr. Tycho, right away, sir. <laughs> but it brings up like a good point, though, for people, because with this new technology age, everyone is a critic. Everyone has something to say. Everyone thinks you could do something better, and they're not afraid to voice that opinion. So it is good. You know, some of you that that are in the industry, it is good to get um, feedback and criticism, but if you're not in the industry and just kind of being a keyboard warrior, just spread love. <laughs> Wishing just, you success minus the stress. stress. <laughs> <laughs> just spread love. Your keyboard is your weapon <laughs> and your depression as your shield. Each letter being typed as a knife to your chest. Oh, damn, man. Man, we, we took a turn. <laughs> Who's real line here? <laughs> I remember me and Russell just talking about this. Uh, when, um, before the whole special effects stuff came in for all that stuff, we were just talking about it. Like, it was a dream, you know. We were just like, oh, man. It would be cool if we could do this, this, and that. You know, flying off and stuff. Uh, yeah. <laughs> then we just go back to our regular stupid that we do in his car. While we're on that subject, what was it that inspired you? I know you had combos with Russ, you brought that up. What really inspired you to jump into the special effects thing? Because that is something you really excel in. Um, it was comic books. Mm. You know, comic books. I'm a real big comic book nerd. And um, it was also uh, my good friend, uh, my good friend Ati Valu. But, you know, his, his, his real name's Ned, but he goes by Ati because he's a semi-professional wrestler. So he helped me and he kind of dabbled into the whole special effects and he's amazing at it. And he kind of taught me a few things and I, I still have yet to learn the, the ins and outs about it. But I'm, I'm starting to learn my way around it. But he's the one who kind of like got me into this whole thing because we, we did the that little, you know, Justice League series. <laughs> yeah. It's a League of Extraordinary Fobs, and it was just us, like, parody characters of actual superheroes. And, um, actually, Kawhi, yeah, you're, you're in it. You're, like, in the next episode that we're supposed to post later on. Six months ago. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, I promised, no. I promised that we wouldn't continue until he came back yeah. to Hawaii. That was, yeah. what, that was why we stopped the whole thing. So we were just like, okay, we'll just work on it when you come back. And how many years have you been doing this now? far as the content creation slash 
Yeah, I guess content creation. Influencer style. I'd say about two years. I started, uh, I was just making dumb skits and <laughs> just making dumb jokes. And I was, I created this stupid character named Sam Owens. Uh, he's a, a drug head and a drug addict, which is apparently a bad influence on people. So <laughs> people who say that I'm a good influence on other people, no, I'm not. With Sam Owens just running around in my times, my timeline. Uh, <laughs> I don't think that's a good idea. <laughs> but he's a good character. Bre- I mean, you watch his his skits, and it's a really good character breakup. It's like a comedic. Um, what's that word? He's like the character that I want to be when it comes to me having no limits in comedy. Wise, <laughs> like if if something extremely violent's about to happen, he's the type of character that I want it to be. Yep. Without cocaine, but you know that's, that's, that's your dark side. All right. Yeah, like uh, you know, it's like lose your mind type thing. Like, I dress up as a woman. He dresses up as some bad a uh, <laughs> cocaine. Some, <laughs> some Samoan Tony Montana. Thing yeah, exactly. Like, so much cooler. Okay, I got another one. Let's. Who's got one? This is a good question from one of the one of your fans, mm-hmm. as we'll call him. His question is, I just lost it. <laughs> Wait, Wait, here it is. It. We got it. Okay. <laughs> describe the moments that set you down that des- describe the moments that set you down your path today professionally. Mm. I had to kind of like the very moment that set me down this, this or, or what's or, what's yeah. taking you on this path? What has brought you yeah, to where you are right now? That have like this is what I'm going to do. Well, um, I used to edit videos when I was like a wee lad, so I was like freaking 12 years old when I edited my first video. In Ireland, <laughs> if you couldn't tell. <laughs> when I was a wee lad. When I was a bit of a wee lad there. <laughs> I, was, I was 12 years old when I, when I edited my first video, and it was an anime music video. It was supposed to be like, you know, Dragon Ball Z stuff. Mm-hmm. So it was... Um, it was it was really cool for me. I felt so cool. Like, I felt like a badass, but then I realized that everybody does that type of stuff. So, <laughs> I just started doing it more and more, and then I kind of lost touch with it throughout the years of me growing up. I found new interests, but then it all started, you know, just kind of rushing back to me as soon as, uh, you know, as soon as I made my first video, which was... Uh, a video I made about me sneaking into a house and, you know, I, was, I got caught by the owner. He had a samurai sword. He was about to chop me in pieces. And, um, Those knives. <laughs> <laughs> sharp, sorry. Sharp objects. <laughs> sorry, no. It, it all started rushing back to me after I made that first video. And I was nervous to post it. Mm. Honestly, it was... Uh, <laughs> it was my girlfriend, Edeen, she's she's the one who got me to start posting it, and thank you, Edeen, for inspiring him. It got it got me a lot of got me a lot of good reviews on it. People started laughing at it. They thought it was the funniest thing on the planet. I was like, really? It's just been a lot of videos that's been done like that. But, um, I, I I almost didn't post it. Mm-hmm. In fact, I almost just put it in an archive because I was just too nervous. Yeah. And with all these other gifted content creators out there that's just like doing their own things you know it's I don't know it's, the rest then, is history and then <laughs> Mr. Coconut was born that's that's another big question is where does your <clears throat> name Mr. Coconut come from I mean look at me I'm brown and hairy on the outside like a someone you know thing <laughs> so, so, so I'm, I'm brown thing. and out, I'm brown and hairy on the outside but I'm white on the inside mm. because of the way I sound yeah so it's, you know, I'm a literal coconut just walking around. You know, it doesn't get more simpler than that. <laughs> well, that's that's where it comes from. Again, don't look too much into it. <laughs> right? it just, just, just right there on the surface. Take it, it, just, take it nothing, at face value. There's nothing deep about it, really. It was just a stupid name that I <laughs> came up. Was was there another name that you had previous to Mr. Coconut, or you started Instagram with that, uh, with that name? Honestly, uh, on a comedic standpoint, Mr. Coconut sounded a lot, like, very appropriate. Oh. So, it was like, so, you know. So, you didn't have, like, sexy men 
69. Sexy 69, man. <laughs> That's like, only what? Nah, man. <laughs> yeah, me neither. I wouldn't. I wouldn't know that. <laughs> Are you, you sure? <laughs> it, it's funny when you get people's emails mm. and you see like stuff like that, like sexy Barbie girl 69. You're, like, <laughs> you didn't you're now to... a 63 year old realtor. <laughs> Why is this? <laughs> yeah, like, I, mean, I see it all the time. Like, I get an email from someone, or you're sharing documents with someone, and you just click. And you're like, my email used to be interesting. Butthole gravy at sixty. <laughs> How'd you know? <laughs> Mine used to be Monopoor Man eighty nine. Why did you change? That doesn't sound so bad. It's awesome. yeah, I mean, that's not bad, but that sounds like so quirky. I, I don't know. What, what, did you have any embarrassing emails? On my like yeah. sent to me. Well, no, I, I mean, like, just no. you, your <laughs> name. Oh, me personally, my no, space. no, because <laughs> no. uh, my, my all my names on anything is called Mister Coconut, so it's pretty much <laughs> it's pretty yeah. much it. If you see somebody on PlayStation named Mister Coconut, that's probably most likely me. <laughs> <clears throat> this guy. That's yeah, Mister Coconut. <laughs> He's branded himself very well. Very well. <laughs> And you've you've been able to surround yourself with a lot of influential people, whether they're actors. Well, let's leave Dave out of this, but me. <laughs> <laughs> Dave's a glorified <laughs> model, man. No, well, well, you. Sponsor. 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 All of them. Thank you. And their shirts are super soft. Oh, this thing is like. Phil, Phil, guys. We just. Oh, <laughs> it wasn't like, soft over there. I'll really, tell you that much. Yeah. It's kind of hard. Very nice material. It's soft at first. They don't do anything. <laughs> yeah. It's hard. Yeah, it's it's such a weird sensation. It's like petting a soft rock. <laughs> Where were we? It's not about, got, it's not about it's me and my shirt. you and your shirt. Okay? I've lost all thought after petting that thing. <laughs> We you, you you've met with a lot of yeah so you've met up with a lot of influential people, you've had the opportunity to work on an episode of Hawaii Five O and most recently an episode of Magnum PI, most recent like super recent, like so, yesterday like yesterday <laughs> for the past couple of days and I gotta still, go back next week he's still got more to do so how's how has that been for you because I remember you posting on your Instagram. On your story, you said if you told me years ago that I'd be acting on a TV show, uh, I'd tell you you're... Well, I'd say you're lying, really, because, uh, I mean, I did not expect that coming. <laughs> I don't think any of us really did. <laughs> I, it's, um... <sighs> I wasn't saying, like, we didn't expect you. I just thought, I was saying... No, us. no, no, it's... it's... <laughs> no, it's... Cool, come back, man. It's all right. You got to lasso me back, big boy. <laughs> come on, man. Come back. Whoa! <laughs> okay. So how, how has that experience been for you? Sorry. It's It's been amazing. Uh, really amazing. Cause... Before you jump into it, so just in case there was confusion, the last two days he's been on set for Magnum P.I., playing a role, and he's going back next week to fulfill a couple other duties there. I play as a hobo. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. Next question. Just so they know, like, you know, okay, yeah, talk about your experience a little bit. Uh, yeah, so I, um, it's amazing, really, because um, I never thought I'd be a part of this life. You know, just like getting my own trailer, I'm not used to that. You know, <laughs> people at your, your, People, yeah, people asking me if there's anything I need, just go ahead and tell them. And then I don't tell them, and I just go walk to the snack bar and get it myself because, <laughs> you know, you're a humble guy. I'm, I'm not a humble Every guy. Every time we just get humble guys on here. No, because I don't, I don't like doing that, you know. I don't like asking somebody, hey, can you give me this because, you know, I can't walk. I have gout. No, I... <laughs> I just get up and go get it myself, man. <laughs> Scouted yourself. Because these, 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 these PA guys, or, you know, the, the crews, they're like the, I, I'd like to say they're like the backbone of the show. Mm, yeah. they, they get the show going, to be honest. And as much as it is the directors, the screenwriters, the makeup people, the entire crew as a whole, it's like uh, they're, 
<clears throat> they're like the backbone of it. So I have like mad respect for the crews that uh, that work on set shows like you know Hawaii Five Home, Magnum. I got a lot of respect for them, so I just I, I try not to take advantage of them. <laughs> what has been your favorite part of that life on set in these TV shows that you've been in? What's been just seeing the whole thing being set up, you know, the lighting, the microphones, you know, the, the camera, the camera works. You know, it's when they say, when they say rolling and they say action, it's dead silent. You know, the only thing you can hear is your voice when you have to say something. So immediately I get nervous <laughs> if I have to say yeah. something. So it's just like, is it my line? Cut! Oh, shit. I'm sorry. <laughs> so, that, no, that's a good experience. I, I had similar, that was like one of the big things is seeing it all pieced together. People don't realize how many moving parts there really are. Even in, like a TV show filming, where you have hundred, like a hundred people all around, lighting, camera, makeup, wardrobe, um, directors, PAs, the talent. There's so many bodies, so it is really cool to see everyone come together for the action and then silence performance. Like, and those about five good. five seconds on your part for that, yeah. Yeah. yeah, so it was like, yeah, it was like only like a good five seconds. Yeah, you were right. So it's, it's, it's just amazing, really. <laughs> it's, I've, uh, I'd honestly say I'd learned from a lot of you guys in terms of acting. I mean, you know, the cool collectiveness, calmness, expressing, you know, facial expressions, and you know, just. Uh, What's that? Russell, <laughs> I would say I learned from Russell, but you know, I'm just kidding. I learned, a lot, I learned a lot from Russell. But I haven't played any security guard roles yet. Yeah. <laughs> Playing security? Oh, oh man. man. Oh. I'd like to thank Russell for that. <laughs> Even though. We love you, Russ. Yeah. Love you, buddy. Uh, <laughs> Playing a security guard. Doing your best role, your best work. Best work ever. Best Couldn't have work. picked a better security guard. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, anyway. Can't wait for him to see this. So, so while we're on, while we're on the influential people thing, one of the followers' questions asked, uh, "Gosh, three. Who are your top three most influential people at this point in your life? Who's really influenced your life?" And it can be toward your career, it can just be toward life in general, just what three people come to mind? Well, well, I mean, <clears throat> yeah, so we're all close friends, obviously, but uh, I'd like to say this is fair because, well, this was before I met you and all that stuff, I'd say... No offense taken. <laughs> You guys can give me like a bigger list. <laughs> nope, three. No, just three. three. Yeah. It could be anyone. And if you don't Your get dog. the dog. Mm. Oh, geez. I'd say the most influential people would uh, definitely be. Well, cool. You're you're definitely just there. So what? I've learned a on lot that from list. You. Yeah. I'm on the top. I, I can see my in the 50. You don't get but. how much I've learned from you during my time as a content creator. Oh, man. Camera angles and whatnot. Oh, I've learned oh. definitely from you. Uh, Jeez. It's oh, Breeze. Dude. Breeze is another one. Breeze has been there for me for a long time. And he's a... Uh, we still talk and, you know, we became really close friends. And he's always been trying to tell me never to, you know... Just pretty much be myself, you know. I can't change for nobody. Mm -hmm. So That's good advice. I, I, I stuck true to that. I was trying not to, to change for anybody. So you know, I may have changed my style with using special effects, but I'm still me. Using it to your advantage. Yeah. yeah. And uh, well, I gotta give him credit for this one. It was Russell. Russell, he's the one who started this whole thing for me. The acting, he got me into it. I was scared at first and very skeptical. But he definitely got me in there, and you know he told me that you know I was pretty much born for it. So he he suggested me to his agent, and the rest is history. I was starting to get roles and whatnot. But yeah, you you three were definitely the top three in my list. First, you were afraid. 
Would you even say you were petrified? I was freaking terrified, man. What are you talking about? <laughs> was... I'm, I'm honored. I understood. I picked that up, that reference there. <laughs> uh, I'm honored to be on that top. I, 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 I would want, man, I can't change that, but. Well, I mean, yeah. I've learned from you. I've learned from Jimmy. I've learned from Russell. Like the whole editing thing going on. I mean, you guys have made, you guys are the reason my editing has become. Like, really good. Like, yes, I learned a lot. But it goes both ways, though. Yeah. Because for us, you know the best thing about working with each other, especially Sarah, is that we're able to not, like, what is what am I trying to say? We're able to work with each other and not have to go up against each other. And even when we're we're doing our own content, it's like we we celebrate rather than rebel in their success. Man, I'm using some big words. Support each other. Yeah, we support each other and everything. So and then it, it pushes us to want to do <laughs> Dang, man, where's that hand go? <laughs> <laughs> it pushes us to want to do better. Cause recently, and this is gonna be coming out soon the the order, um, so recently he gave me the task of doing special effects and oh, do I have a, 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 a greater... Well, I figured you could handle it. Well, yeah, after, after some time, but I have a greater respect for what Sarah does and what people who work with special effects do. So that's something I, I never had before. So thank you for that. So. I'll be honest. I'm going to be honest here. Uh, I, I told these guys a lot. Can't wait to hear this. I told these guys uh, pretty much, well, you know, I... This is probably the fifth time you're going to be hearing this. But that first episode of that fight video that everyone's freaking freaking out about, that was an experiment. That wasn't even supposed to be, like, serious. That was an experiment. And then, boom, David wrote out a script and just made it a whole series. And I was like, holy <laughs> That was, wow. Well, Can't start teamwork, everyone. Great teamwork, everyone. Great teamwork, everyone. This everyone. train, choo-choo. Started a train that everyone has made demands for already for an origin story so here we are we're going to be doing it <laughs> how does it feel knowing that you are setting a trend in hawaii <clears throat> i'm setting a what a trend You're trying to say it starts with a t and ends with a d trends <laughs> <laughs> Trend. Trend. It, it, I mean, you might not seem this way, but from a lot of the responses I get, you, you get them as yeah. well. And I'm sure you, you do as well. But it's not really something that's being done in Hawaii, or at least that I'm not seeing. I just wanted to bring something new to the table. I, yeah, you're right. It's not really being done here. I don't know why, because this, this is Hawaii, man. We, we, <laughs> we have superstitions and... And deities and gods of our own that we don't really tap into because apparently no one's ever tried tapping into that. So that's something I wanted to try and do and make superheroes of our own, deities of our own that can, you know, beat up Superman and, you know, be just as cool as the Marvel Cinematic Universe, you know? Hawaii's not just all, yeah. hey, bro, what's up, bro? Hawaii's, yeah, Hawaii's not just all, you know, hey, where we grow, like all aloha, surf, and live, aloha, you know what I'm saying? We all love each other. Yeah, we do, but, you know, you f*** with us, you f*** with everybody else. So, <laughs> oh, 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 sorry. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. Kids watch uh, the show. Uh, it's okay. You right. play around with us. <laughs> I'm gonna I can't wait. Over. I can't wait to see the editing. I'm sorry. No, you're good. You're good. Where do, where do you, I'm sorry, I know you probably have a question, but where do all these these voice sound effects cut? Because you've got a lot. It, like um, in a lot of Ken's videos, kind of the great. You do the whole. Ah! Well, where does, do it, where does it come from? It's, <laughs> let's let's get some samples. I can yell in here. I don't want your mom coming down. Just, uh, just do it. Kill us. Well, okay. Like eighty percent. Eighty percent. Seventy maybe. <laughs> That's iconic, <laughs> Mr. Coconut. <Did> <laughs> 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 um, uh, please. <laughs> why don't you do your voice, like your golden voice, as we call it? Um. 
this summer. Don't miss out on the greatest podcast that has ever existed. <laughs> get some Stewie on planet Earth. Can we get that Stewie Griffin in there too? Oh, yeah. Stewie! Gr- I haven't done Stewie in a while. <laughs> I've got to say, thank you for bringing me on this podcast here, uh, Kulani. So, what what kind of questions do you have for me today? See, he's a man of many talents. <laughs> oh. Surprisingly, I haven't gotten any voiceover roles, so it's just like... Right? <laughs> that is a surprise. Yeah, right? I would have like, thought you'd kill all of them. I'm, I'm tired of well, seeing my ugly mug on TV, you know? I <laughs> kind of want to wow. hear my sexy, exasperated voice <laughs> on the microphone. He's got skills. <laughs> He's got skills. If you need people blowing up, or you need a sexy, what was the word you used? Uh, exasperated. Exasperated voice. <laughs> At Mr. Coconut. Right here. The face of wearing masks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Put it on. So much masks. <laughs> Sorry, so that conversation we were having the last time about, you know, we're deities and whatnot i'm just saying you know it's it's not just about love and you know loving each other as a community because i don't think of this place as a state i I really think of it as a community mm-hmm. like you know we all band together when it really counts and matters mm-hmm. like say mauna kea you know everybody banded together that was the most togetherness i've ever seen this island mm-hmm. become you know so um I'm just saying, like, you know, there's more to it than that. There are warriors, you know. This this culture was, you know, built on warriors and, you know, gods who are beyond our comprehension, all that stuff. That's crazy stuff, mm-hmm. you know. I don't think that's being researched on enough, to be honest. Yeah. I agree. Yeah. Totally. Better do your research, Rock. <laughs> Before you make that movie. <laughs> <laughs> Just saying. Yeah, a lot of angry Hawaiians. <laughs> yeah, there, yeah, yeah. There's, there's a lot of angry Hawaiians out there. Iku Mau Mau. Iku There was one follower question that just stuck out. Stuck out. Stood. Just stood just out or stood stuck out? Stuck out. Stuck out. Stuck out. Just stood stuck out. out. Stuck out. And that is, do you pee standing up or sitting down? Sometimes sitting down when I'm too, you know... I'm too lazy, you know, I just want to sit down like a king and pee in my toilet bowl. I know who that was from. I think that was from your brother. Who asked that question? Yeah, my brother can be a bit <laughs> sometimes, so. <laughs> For sure it's from your brother. So, so, good when family throws questions throws in, because they yeah, just so, little yeah. jabs, you So know? if you're watching this, this uh, my Magnum P.I. role is dedicated for you. Hey. Homeless man to a... <laughs> wow. <You> friggin' bum. <laughs> I feel like we're gonna have two on now to defend ourselves. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we'll even give you that chance. <laughs> wow. Wow. <laughs> Brotherly love. Yeah, so, it's, don't worry, it's back and forth. If anything, next time I see him, he's probably gonna... <laughs> punch him in the face. Yeah, he's probably just gonna punch him in the face. So, <laughs> so we, we've talked a lot about... You're up your uprising, your um, what you're doing now, and so what's 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 the future look like for you? What do you what do you have planned or unplanned or what what's it gonna be? You know, I I don't know. <laughs> I I don't know what the future holds for me, but you know, I'm just uh, I just want to make as much videos as I can to you know keep. You guys happy, you know, because <laughs> I yeah you're right. My my uh, my content has been bringing a bit of a different style to the table, especially for local content creators as a whole. So I'm I just uh, hopefully I keep it up and keep changing it up. You know, we could use a change because mm. uh, mm. getting sick and tired of being laughed at, <laughs> being a content creator from Hawaii. Yeah, you know, it's kind of it's kind of sad, you know. So I'm trying to kind of pave a way for better content creators to yeah. come in and maybe take the torch yeah. from me one day. That's <laughs> eye-opening. Like, I, like, I'm not even joking. That is eye-opening because we look at a lot of Hawaii's content and it's a lot of comedy. You look at all the content creators and when you think of content creator in Hawaii, you think all oh, comedy. You don't think of somebody who's doing uh, special effects or 
stunts or um, you know something bigger than just comedy. Comedy can be used in those cases, but yeah. Action comedy, that's definitely something. <laughs> you are paid in the way. That's awesome. One question I had, maybe we'll jump into lightning after, unless Kuz got any more, but this this is more for me. What has been probably one of the, the biggest trials that you faced entering this industry and what you are trying to accomplish? The biggest trials... I think the biggest trials was uh, trying to gain acceptance. You know, it's because uh, there, there was there was a lot of other content creators that didn't really like my style, so it was just like you know, I'm out here trying to please everybody, and that caused me to kind of spiral around to a point where I just had to take a break because my ideas weren't really coming out. So I just had to just kind of like stop for a second <laughs> I had to stop I had to take a break and also you know personal reasons I can't really tell on camera but uh, yeah there's, there's a there's a few reasons why I've taken a break but that was one of it you know I was I think I was pleasing the wrong people mm -hmm. pretty much and I'm tired of doing that I think that's uh, do it for himself yeah right <laughs> Doing, I'm doing it for myself, but at the same time, I want to try and impress the group in any way I can, impress everybody else out there any way I can, so, yeah, I'm just doing my best here. Cool. I'm I, on a limb here. I, I, don't, I don't think you're alone in that, though, because I think we've all probably tried to impress viewers, followers, friends, family with some of the content, but like you were saying earlier... That handicaps us a little bit. Mm. We we're not ourselves anymore, and when we're not ourselves, we're not making the best content that we can make. And so, I, I, th I think that's a trial that we've all faced. Or if you're starting to embark in this journey, you will probably hit that wall at some point, realizing I got to do me. I can't do because everyone, like we said, everyone's going to have criticism, and if you're constantly trying to please everybody. You, you lose who you are and you lose your, your foundation. So that's a. That's like some deep, very deep proud words. of words. <laughs> be you. You be can you. only be you. you know? Don't be another Jason Momoa or Dwayne yeah. Johnson or Keanu Reeves or Halle Berry. Halle Berry's from here? No, but. <laughs> <laughs> just be you. Because when. Yeah. Lightning round. <laughs> lightning round. This is lightning round. Base play podcast episode four. Is Sarah tool. Favorite food. Cheeseburgers. Do you have a tattoo? No. Where's your favorite place to get cheeseburgers? Fast food restaurants anywhere. Are you thinking of getting a tattoo? And where? Yes, I have no clue. Where's your favorite place to go on this island? Home. Where's home? Come <laughs> Was that his question? Yes. Mm. <laughs> well, that was my question. <laughs> Where's what? the I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna steal Kumani's. Have you ever pooped your pants? <gasps> Maybe. When I was a kid. Five years old. Well, that's very specific, actually. <laughs> Maybe. Five years old. I know everything about it. Jessica's. <laughs> it was in a river. I uh, thought it was another toilet. Oh, well, he's still going. <laughs> Boom, baby! <laughs> Just, whoa! Had to delete my pants there and everything. Clip, plop, yep. Let the dudes drop. Okay. I was a kid. I had an excuse. Uh, <laughs> favorite hike? Just answer the question. I know you're about to come up with some smart cocoa head. Cocoa head nice. for Mr. Cocoa Nut. Um, <laughs> really? Do you like coffee? No. What's your favorite beach? None. Have you ever slept the beach? Yes. What, what kind of beach are we talking about here? Your favorite activity to do outside of your house and eating? Filming. Mm. I'm sorry. I don't have much friends to be doing said activities. <laughs> so <laughs> you guys are like the only friends um, I have. How'd you meet eating? 
So I think we're coming in pretty hot today. Uh, at work. <laughs> That's. Was it love at first sight? Yeah, it actually was. How many siblings do you have? Three. Which one do you hate the most? Oh, the oldest. Was that the one that asked you if you peed? Yes. <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> uh, uh, favorite uh, superhero? Batman. Mm. Really? Yeah. So I don't know the voice went up the hood. <laughs> so you're a DC over Marvel guy? Yes. I thought it would be Superman. Yeah, actually. Oh, well, you know what? It's it's a mix. Really? It's mixed. It's mixed because I find his superpowers really <laughs> cool. But Batman is like, it's <laughs> Batman. So, you know, it's, it's cool. Like, I'd rather be wearing the bat suit than the super suit. You know what I'm saying? Can't, be, can't complain with that. Favorite comic book? Of all time? Yes. Justice League Kingdom Come. Worst superhero. Worst superhero? Yeah. The one that you think of. Like, why, why do you exist? That's too much of a. That's too long of a list that I have. It's got a lot, oh. a lot of worst superheroes. Who would you have play Batman if you were to direct the movie? Scott Atkins. That's Scott Atkins. He's a martial artist, really good <laughs> actor, a really good fighter. He's a perfect match. Mm. Way better than um, <clears throat> Edward from Twilight. <laughs> <laughs> so. What of all the things, Batman, vampire? I mean, he brings. I'm. 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 I'm, I'm, I'm going to be honest. Robert Pattinson kind of brings the tone of Batman, but mm. I don't like the goth boy look when it. You know, Bruce Wayne had more of a playboy, fifties type look. I think you know, Scott Atkins could totally pull Scott it. Atkins. If there's one thing that you could, you want your viewers to know about you. What would that be? Um, Please. I am. Uh, you know, I don't. I don't know. <laughs> this stage is yours. Uh, speak the truth, and it will fly. I don't know what to say to these guys. <laughs> I don't know what to say that I don't say to them on a daily basis. Mm, but humble guy. If you're trying to. I mean, if you're, you're trying to make videos and do special effects, please understand that it cannot be done on a phone. <laughs> so please don't ask me what app I use for my special effects, because it's not an app. It's, a, it's totally done on a computer. So if you're really serious about it, just, you, you got to go all in for it. You know, just, just go all in. I don't know what to say about myself that I want to tell people about. That's, that's all in. Word. Sarah likes to go all in. All in. And that is <laughs> episode four. <laughs> episode four. Podcast. Big sorry. Yes. <laughs> what do you say sorry for? I don't know what to... <laughs> Shout out to our sponsor. Thank you, sponsor. Catch a few. Amazing. Ooh, Amazing. Ooh. Thank you, Asara. It's been a pleasure. You've been a pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> why the why the handshake? I don't know. But. <laughs>